In this video, we're going to learn about perfect squares. Notice that if you have some number of terms inside parentheses and it's raised to an exponent, it's the same as whatever's in exponents multiplied to itself that number of times. So a plus b raised to the second is the same as a plus b times a plus b. If we foil this out, we get a squared plus ab plus ab plus b squared, which is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Notice that a plus b quantity squared is not at all a squared plus b squared. Notice this has two terms in it and this right here is a grouping squared. That is to say a plus b squared does not equal a squared plus b squared. So here's the perfect square shortcut. If you have a plus b and it's squared, you can take the product of a plus b or the product of the terms a and b and you get ab and ab. Then you square the first term, you square the last term, and you find the sum of a plus b and a plus b, which is plus 2ab. Another way you can think about this is if you have a plus b all raised to the second power, it's the first term squared double the product of the terms and the last term squared. That is called a perfect square. So we can very easily multiply x minus 4 times x minus 4 simply by figuring out the square of the first term, doubling the product of x and negative 4, which would be 2 times negative 4x, and squaring the last term, which would be positive 16. So my final answer is x squared minus 8x plus 16. We can do the same thing on example 2. Since it's this binomial raised to a second power, we can square the first term we can find the product of the two terms and multiply them by 2 and square the last term. So your final answer will be 4x squared plus 28x plus 49. 